Hi there, my name is Carson and I'm a technical support analyst for Azure Canada. One of the benefits of ArcGIS Pro is the ability to visualize terrain in three dimensions. After the dramatic landing of the Perseverance rover on the surface of Mars, I wanted to know exactly where it landed and be able to visualize the terrain it would be exploring. ArcGIS Pro is a fantastic tool for this kind of workflow, and today I'm going to walk through creating a 3D scene in ArcGIS Pro to visualize the Perseverance landing site on the surface of Mars. In order to visualize terrain in a scene in ArcGIS Pro, you need two things. The first is an elevation surface, and the second is imagery to drape over the elevation surface. There's a default elevation surface in ArcGIS Pro that uses the world terrain elevation surface, but this won't do us any good on Mars. Luckily for us, NASA through the University of Arizona has uploaded plenty of Mars remote sensing data from their high-rise instrument aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. I've included a link in the description. Perseverance landed in Jezero Crater, near the site of an ancient river delta. We will grab this entry here, which includes a digital terrain model, as well as a high-resolution ortho image here. The difference between A and C is in the spatial resolution. A is a spatial resolution of 25 centimeters, and C is a spatial re resolution of one meter on the ground. Once the data is downloaded, unzip it into a convenient location. In ArcGIS Pro, we will insert a new local scene. Then we'll add the digital terrain model and the ortho photo. Here's the digital elevation model. And we'll also add the ortho photo. Don't forget uh, A is the higher spatial resolution image. You could also do the lower resolution image. I like the high resolution for extra detail. And we can go ahead and turn these on. At the moment, the elevation surface being used in the scene is the default world elevation 3D surface from ArcGIS Online. This does not do us very good for Mars. Instead, we will use the Mars DEM as our elevation surface. Right-click ground and go add elevation surface. We're going to navigate to our digital terrain model again and click OK. Now let's remove the default and we'll remove the world topographic map and rolled hillshade. Now let's zoom in and explore. In order to enhance the visualization, we'll increase the vertical exaggeration. Ensure the ground layer is selected and click on the elevation surface tab. We're gonna increase the vertical exaggeration to two, just to exaggerate the terrain features a little bit more to get a better sense of the terrain that Perseverance will be exploring. All we're missing now is the actual landing site of the rover. The landing site has been named the Octavia E. Butler landing site and the coordinates can be found on the Wikipedia page. I've included a link in the description. To visualize the rover, we will add a new feature class into our database. We'll make it a point type feature. We'll keep the Z value coordinates, except the default fields. Luckily, our imagery is already in a Mars spatial reference that is readable by ArcGIS Pro. We will select the equirectangular Mars projection for our new feature class. Click finish to accept the defaults. Ensure the new feature is selected in the table of contents and we'll click on the edit tab and choose create. We'll choose the perseverance template and just ensure that we've got a point selected. We'll then right click anywhere on the map and go absolute XYZ. 
We're then going to input the coordinates from the Wikipedia page that I've put here into a notepad. And you just have to ensure that uh, the units here on the right hand side are in fact in decimal degrees because that's what the coordinates are uh, from the Wikipedia page. And if you click enter, you'll see that this is now the location of the Perseverance rover. And we'll click save to save our edits. Okay, so now we can see the location of Perseverance on the surface of Mars. This is the actual landing site. And if you watch the video of the Perseverance landing, you can see it come in right to this location. Now, the point is cool, but what if we could visualize the actual size of the rover and the rover itself in this scene? Luckily for us, we also have the Mars Perseverance rover 3D model uh, from NASA. Uh, so go ahead and download that. I've included the link in the description. Once it's downloaded, we're going to modify the symbology and apply the 3D model as our symbol layer. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the symbol in the table of contents. We're going to ensure we have properties selected and we're going to select the structure option. What we're going to do is we're going to add a symbol layer. We're going to add a marker layer. Now we're going to go back to the layers option. We're going to uncheck the original shape marker and we're going to make our new shape marker a 3D model marker. From here, we're going to import the form from the file we just downloaded. Now you can see the little rover has loaded up. We have to do a couple more things to get this to display correctly. The first is to change our anchor point presets. We're going to center it above the axis so that it's sitting on the ground. Then we'll click apply. Okay, you can see our symbol has disappeared, but that's okay. We've got to do a few more things to get it to sit on the ground. The first thing we're going to do is change the elevation. In the elevation option, we're going to choose on the ground. You can just see here the rover is beginning to appear, but the problem is is that when we zoom in and out, it changes its relative size. In order to address that, we're going to click on display and display 3D symbols in real world units. Okay, and here we go. Now when you zoom in, you can see the actual size of the Perseverance rover on the surface of Mars to scale. Our last step is to make our scene look a little bit more Marsy. To do this, we're gonna use a little bit of a visual trick. We're gonna take our DTM, which is still in our 2D layers list, and move it on top of the ortho photo. Then in the raster layer appearance tab, we're gonna increase the transparency to 70%. Then to give the whole scene more of a Mars color, we're going to apply an orange color scheme to the DEM. When we zoom out, you can see the whole scene feels a little bit more like Mars, with the added bonus that the areas of darker color are higher elevation. This helps us to uh, understand the scene a little bit better and to make us feel like we are actually on the surface of Mars. I hope you enjoyed learning about how to create 3D scenes in ArcGIS Pro. Thanks for watching.